Hey guys, it's Elsiana, and we today are going to take a look at the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. In honor of the upcoming anniversary of the death of the late, great Wes Craven, he was a brilliant director. Directed some of my favorite movies of all time, which included Scream and the series we're taking a look at today. Okay. Yes. One thing before we start. Please don't put down the video. Please don't tell me that my opinion's wrong. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Okay? Now, if you have a different opinion of the list, Okay, that's okay. Type, put your opinion, put your ranking in the comments below. And um, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, number nine. Wes Craven's New Nightmare. So, the reason this is number nine... I mean, can you answer me, please? Basically, for the lack of Freddy. Okay, no, I am not answering that. Not I'm sorry, but there's hardly any Freddy. We've only seen him like three or four times. Um, I didn't. I, I enjoy it, trust me. But it wasn't enough to make number one spot. Or even top five. I'm sorry. So. Yeah, Wes Craven was the writer and director of this, so he only directed three of these movies. He only directed three of these movies. This is one of them. This is the third one he directed. Um, yeah. Basically, it's basically Freddy started attacking, okay. starts attacking people in the real world, like the mechanical flaw comes to life and kills a crew member at the beginning. Uh, Heather Langkamp has to battle Freddy. Freddy, protect her son. That's amazing. Like, that's awesome. You guys got an A for creativity. Apparently you do. So, so yeah, you it's a good movie. Trust me. Sure, you can wait here but it was not enough. And then like I said, and then not we'll enough to make it top. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. This is top five. Sorry. We'll be sorry. Okay. Okay. Number, yeah. Number eight. So Number on Elm Street and two. Freddy's Revenge. So this movie. It's also okay. Kelly. I'm not gonna oh, lie. It's good. But Are you breaking up with me? It's not a movie I want well, I, I wanna watch all the time. I'll watch it when it's on, yes, but Maybe instead of dragging this out. Yeah. I won't watch it. Maybe we should just call it now. I will not watch it. Yeah, we should you should go. All the time on D V D. So basically, in this one, Freddy uses the body of a teenage boy named Jesse. Named Jesse, uh, to. Who continue his killings and basically allow him to get into the real world. He does succeed in getting to the real world, and um, forces Jesse to do some things that Jesse doesn't particularly want to do. Yeah, you're fired. The competition just can't keep up with Hunter. Ew. Such as killing friends, family, teachers. I believe. Like no, the future wasn't Freddy, was with Freddy himself, not Jesse. Sorry. Eh, never mind. Ignore, ignore what I said. I told you to go. Oh, no, wait. 
And I'm really bad at following. No, it was, it was Jesse. Yeah, it was Jesse. Never mind. Um. Sure did. We have in a minute. Sorry about that. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, clearly you told her all about me. Freddy unknowingly is all committing these kill her. murders for him. He doesn't even know. I missed you. Well, relax. Like, the idea of having you have him yeah, commit we'll murder unknowingly is creepy in its own. Like, don't get me wrong, it's pretty creepy. And she's got this. Bad. That's great. This yeah, so the. But it's kind of like the same know. way as yeah, in the movie up. Carrie. Both original and remake, actually. Uh, what's her plan? Uh, you and I. She unknowingly so. does kill yeah, her entire know. class. Entire senior class. Uh, at the prom. She doesn't know she does it until she gets home. And wash the blood off. Oh, I'm fine. They and then figures out that she actually did kill. So, yeah. And we'll get to the remit series of Rio Carry cool. soon. Yeah, Trust me. Yeah, especially on that one. I, I actually do want to review that. But that's for another review. Okay. So, yeah. Overall. Yep. The reason it's in number eight. Um, no, it's not as scary as the original. They tried. Trust me, they tried, but it just ends up being hilarious. To do as what many people say is gay overtone. I'm not sure I agree with it, but you know, it wasn't that scary. It wasn't scary for me. Okay. Moving on. Number seven, Nightmare on Elm Street Five, Dream War, Dream Mask, Dream Child. Sorry, Ugh. Nightmare on Elm Street Five, Dream Child. Sorry. Um, in this one, it continues the continuation of Nightmare on Elm Street Four. I have to take a surgery. The continuation of Nightmare on Elm Street Four. Um, which we'll get to in a few minutes. Um, but Alice, who is actually pregnant during this. Yes, Alice is pregnant. And she's having nightmares while she is wide awake. And I can't figure out why until um until her boyfriend is killed until her boyfriend is killed by Freddy and um she gets an ultrasound and realizes that Freddy is transferring the souls of his victims into her unborn child. And because babe, unborn babies spend about 80 or 90, 80 to 90% of their days in a sleep stage, sleeping up mode, that's how Freddy is getting into Alice. Through her yeah, unborn child, causing her out of nightmares, and seeing the Kruger girls in the middle broad daylight while she awake. Is it a problem for you? Oh, I mean, is that, is um, that what you're talking about? That's not your surgery. I get yeah. It. Can you? Because it seems like like I said, um, after the events, of, up to the second movie, all these people started getting kind of funny, more funnier than scary, but. My children, my sister, you Sometimes they my still miss freak me the fuck. Mm, freak me the hell out, but and yeah. So I thought this was a clever idea 
and, you know, I enjoy watching it, despite how many ridiculous things are in this. Okay. Number six. Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, which the title, by the way, is a lie. Um, now, in this one, sorry, I'm eating popcorn. I'm going to put it down for now. So in this one, Freddy return, turns to find his child. He has a child. And this guy, they call him throughout the movie John Doe. They call him that because they don't know his real name, which if you've ever been to a hospital, that's what they're called. They call people that they don't know the names of. John or Jane Doe. Depends. Um, yeah. John Doe is convinced that he is the child, son of Freddy. What? He is not. Um, anyway, it's revealed in the scene where John Doe is killed that Freddy only let him live long enough to help him find his daughter. So, Freddy has a daughter, not a son. Which, like, I thought that was interesting. You are a hero. I mean, I just didn't what needed to be done. Yeah. Wow. She didn't even know that she was Freddy's child. Yeah. See? After endings, they happen. Oh, please. Everyone's a lovely fox hole. Um, I like the movie. It's good. Really? Really good. Just because you choose to be unhappy right. doesn't mean everybody else does. Big an A for effort and A creativity. You're hot. You're smart. You're funny. But maybe four didn't work out, but that doesn't mean you right. have to stop trying. Number five. Nightmare on Elm Street 4. And yeah, I'm gonna have a big wedding. And you're gonna four. be a Dream Master. I love this movie. Paul, but. Are you laughing at me? No, Sorry. Um, oh, it's great. No, I, also have so I love this movie a little more than I like the others. Um, probably because Could I have her tonight, please? It's just a little a little more creative than. Already moved things around for you. I know, and I thought that's why you would be okay with letting the rules for your convenience. Rules that only exist because you, but I'm yeah. all of our friends through hell. It's so creative. I'm sorry. You know, you chose this. You ruined everything. And yet you still expect me to leave to fulfill your needs. Mm -hmm. So creative. Um, I did that. The so kills are more creative, creative, but still. You're angry. It is more funny than it is scary. I was gracious. Um, so in this one, Kristen is Kristen, the girl from the third movie. She is and she protects her power, dream power, which is like the um, kung fu uh Um, almost a kung fu kind of thing, like the, wait, not kung fu, sorry, no, not kung fu, um, the, the flipping thing she can do, backflips and, I call it gym, maybe gymnastics, that's it, um, yeah, so, I think, that's clever. I stayed for her. I stayed for her. I and it definitely we be gets an A for cleverness. Doesn't really matter what I thought. So yeah. We're over um, it. a lot of the parents are, a lot of the adults are incredibly disrespectful, including Sorry, I Alice's me. father, who is an alcoholic. Basically, one thing I forgot to mention in the fifth one is that he's not. Yes, he is an alcoholic. He'll be okay, Blake. 
he was a recovering mm -hmm. alcoholic in the fifth one, and basically he was trying to help his daughter in any way he can. See after you know her, she lost her brother, and everything, and that's nice to see. It's nice to see. It's nice to see a likable adult in the series. So, good job. And. No, 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 no. Why? There's too much fluid coming out of his eyes. Good to see. Okay, you need to see if you can move faster. More irrigation. Keep the fringe coming back. Pretty cool that. Damn it, it's getting harder to withdraw anything else now. Speaking's starting to rise. They now have the power to reflect dream. the dream powers onto the others. One to others. So, Alice acquires all their dream powers, and you know, takes on Freddy once and for all, and uh, traps him in this dream realm thing. Is it what they call the dream realm? Dream world. She traps him there, and. Another thing I forgot to mention of it also explains how he got unleashed from the dream world that she locked up in. Um, so yeah, the characters are fun. The plot is cool. The plot is original and nice. Like good. <laughs> By nice, I meant good. Uh. Good story, good characters to back it up. Um, yeah, I enjoy watching it on DVD and when it's on TV. So, uh, yeah. Number four. Freddy vs. Jason. Now, this movie... This movie is fun. Yes, technically it's also in the Friday the 13th series. But... It's also, since it has Friday's Nightmare on Street, that's why I included it. Eh. Sorry, I have an itch on my nose. Um, I got. So basically. Echo, stop! Hey! Echo! Sorry about that. Um. Hello. What? Quit it! I can't hear you. Hey! Did you say pick you up? Echo, stop! Echo! Sorry about that. My dog. My cousin dog is crazy. Echo, stop! You're not. You don't need me to pick you up at work, right? Um. Okay, so I don't have to pick you up. Okay, then. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not talking. Okay. It's just. I'm gonna yeah. stop. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. When she calls. You gotta go let her in because your keys are in the car. Okay. I don't have to pick her up. Yay! Okay. Now, Echo, are you done? Okay, so yeah. And she's staying in these sad. There's just my cousin on the phone. Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, in this one, Freddie has. Um. Freddy basically he can't come back back. Basically he's not strong enough because nobody's everybody's learned not to be afraid of him. Which is good. But Freddy then uh recruits Jason and brings Jason to Elm Street to kill for him. So that you will become more afraid and that Freddy so that Freddy can come back. Well, Jason um 
basically ends up up killing a lot more than he should more people than he should be and Freddy doesn't really like it so Freddy decides it's time to get rid of Jason on knowing to Freddy that he will not die even though he kinda says it I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Kinda clears up in the beginning, near the beginning, now y'all are... He knows that he can't up. He knows he can't die. Alright, uh, then, so in the one part where he asks why won't he die, there's no point, because Freddy knows he doesn't die. So easily. I'm done waiting, so I just need to know will you marry me. So. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I. Freddy. I, I can't. This movie is good. It's in top five, so that's good. Um. I don't need a big thing. I just need. But. Still. I'm so sorry. It has a lot of flaws. Um. No. Only one kill but is Freddy's, by the way. That That's one thing. Move with this. What if you didn't? Well, Most of the kills in this movie is no, Jason no, Kelly. Right. So. What's wrong? What's wrong? Between like, all the kills, I mainly Jason. I'm sorry. And then. I uh, between and then Freddy and Jason's battle, both in the dream state, and then in at Camp Crystal Lake, which is where they take them. This is real between us. It's we know what we're doing. Why are we doing it? It's a what? It's cool. Our life. I don't want to waste our time on conversations or some. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's a great movie. But. I want to really. Yeah. And I want it with you. But people should learn not to. I know the kids don't really know, aren't, aren't really familiar with. Jason. No, less with Jason and more with Freddy. Well, and more with Freddy than they are. It's continuing to live on Elm Street. In fact, I think the main character, if I remember correctly, even lives in in Freddy Krueger's old house. In Freddy's old house, which. He also. Which. Is also where Nancy lived. And where, um. Jesse lived in the second one, so. Yeah. What did you say? It's pretty bad. So, yeah. Um, it's good, but still. Oh. Um, people ne really should learn not to piss off Jason, not to make Jason mad. Excuse my language, but yeah, they should learn not to make him mad. Like, the team what Jason can do, don't make him angry. Simple as that. Um. Can anyone ever get a rise out of you? Yeah. Like Freddy kind of takes a back seat to Jason, so. So, um, yeah. When is it finally safe to Yeah. It's a great movie. Oh.
Okay. Number three. We're in top three, guys. It's exciting. Nightmare on Elm Street Remake. 2010. You may have noticed that it's not even opened yet. That's because I that's because it was just bought. Breaking CTV news. Um I just bought it. Because you lost my first copy. Yeah, okay, <laughs> great. That's how Echo saw! Tell her Echo. And, um, I like this movie. I'm not gonna lie. That's why it's in the top three. I really like it. It's, you know, it's creepy. She does a good job of capturing the creepiness of the original movie. And, for that, I respect. And even if she was. For that, I respect it. But that was different. Wow. Love definitely has bounds. I've seen where it is. The tagline, obviously, is never sleep again. Which is why because Freddy can kill you in your dreams, you know. So Freddy this time around is played by Jackie Jackie Earl Haley, I think it is. From Human Target. I don't know if you guys have seen that show, but my mom has apparently. So, I don't know what else he's from, so. But Jackie O'Haley. And, um. Yeah. Echo! I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Well, geez, I'm getting married. But no. Okay. Yeah, it's so good to know that so, all the best people in this so, yeah. are dead. <laughs> this movie is like. Right, it's Better than a lot of remakes. Um, some of the characters, some of the main characters from the original, that they change the names. Like they keep Nancy's the same. They keep Nancy the same. That's like the only name that keeps the same. Characters like Rod and Tina and uh, Glenn from the original, they don't keep the same. The ones I'm assuming are supposed to be Glenn. Is his name Quentin? I think Quentin or Quentin. Quentin. And then uh, the one is supposed to be Tina. That's Chris. And then there's I forget I forget the um uh Chris's boyfriend. I forget his name. I don't think it's Jesse. I don't think maybe it is. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, it's been a while. I haven't seen him. So yeah. No, no, I get that you need to discipline me. Um, the ending is certainly scarier than the original, I think. Like, it's definitely creepy. I'm not going to spoil it for you for those who haven't seen it. Um, yeah, there are a lot more jump scares in the original, too. In the original, too, but, like I said. Like I said, it was a remake. It's good, but never it can never surpass the original. It can never pass the original. So. Yeah. Number two, we're getting down. Okay. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. This movie... It's... It's really good. I like it. So basically, there's like there's a bunch of kids in the men in this mental home, basically. For uh, it's Western Hills. The place is called Western Hills. The psychiatric hospital. What? Trust me when I say this is not the last time you see Western Hills. 
You see Western Hills in Freddy, again in Freddy vs. Jason. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, anyway, these kids in psychiatric hospital, they all, um, suffer from pattern nightmares. Which, this is where a girl, young girl, Kristen, comes in. Our main girl, Kristen. After, um, cutting herself with a razor blade at the beginning, near the beginning. She's having a nightmare, and you think it was Freddy, but it was not. In the dream, it was Freddy, but it was not. It was actually her in real life. She cut herself with a razor blade, and was sent to the second, admitted to the second hospital by her mother. Which, of course, she's not happy about. She doesn't want the doctors near her. And then, Nancy shows up. Nancy, played by Heather Langton. Langton King. Yeah. And, wow. And it's good to see her again. Um, so anyway, Nancy becomes the only person that Kristen trusts. Her friend. It becomes her friend, and... Yeah. Nancy helps her. Kristen at one point pulls Nancy into her dream. Which she has the power of it. So, yeah. That was really cool. I liked it. I like that part. And they all are discovered um, that they all have some sort of dream power inside them. Like. <sighs> Christian has the gymnast thing. There's one girl who has. It's not really a dream power. She just looks really like pretty awesome. She has like spiky whole, spiky hair, uh, tight leather, and these switchblades. These two switchblades she has. Um, one of them can bend solid objects. Pretty super strength. Um, one of them has wizard powers because they have this game they play. So they play a wizard powers, I guess. Apparently, um, one of them is mute. He finds a dream power to actually talk. An amazing dad, and that's what you're worried about, right? That I'm not all in, but I am, and I love you. And I told you that I love you, and that I'm not going anywhere. So isn't that enough? Can that be enough for you? Yeah. It's great. I love it. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna lie. It's a good movie. Crazy family stuff. Okay. Finally, number one. And I grown up. You're obviously you have a pretty good idea what it is. is the original movie. Nightmare on Elm Street from 1984. No surprise, it's my favorite. Why? Because the pills are great. Pills are great. We have a great her heroine. Uh, a great group of characters. Um, yeah. Um, it's really scary, actually. Like, can you give me a minute? Give me a minute, guys. Yeah, it's a good number. 
have become a whole new person because of you. You know what weather does to outdoor surfaces. Get the tough cleaning help of Actavox Side A Plus on your side. Actavox unleashes the power of oxygen. The ultimate oh, allergy, mold, and more. From siding, bolts, patio furniture, RVs, and awnings. Just activate, yeah. spray, wait, and rinse. Non-toxic Actavox Side A Plus. Only at home hardware and building center locations. Uh -huh. With expert advice. Sorry guys, I'm back. And we we're talking about the original Nightmare on Street. So yeah, it has. It's pretty scary actually. Like, that's what a lot of people say. It's scary. It's really scary. Uh, this is the first one directed by Wes Craven. The second, next one directed by Wes Craven was the third one, and then the last one directed was yeah, Wes Craven's Nightmare. But all of them he wrote, wrote for. Um, yeah. This is his first appearance of. This is actually uh, Johnny Depp's first film role. He plays Glenn, Nancy's boyfriend. Who, um. You know. Doesn't believe. Don't get any ideas. There are no ideas here. I don't have any ideas. Again, this is I'm just making small talk. Okay, well, don't do that. Why not? That. Because I'm busy. I'm working. Who is he? Um. I'm working too. I'm not trying to be mean. I just. I don't want you to get too attached. I have three children. She doesn't. A big job. He doesn't believe that. Don't jump me. I think it's I'm that if you, you die in your room, you die for real. I, I don't think he believes that, but it is possible that if you die in your dream, even out of movie standards, if you die in your dream, you die for real. And it's a great movie. I I love it. It's awesome. Okay, there you have it, guys. That's Nightmare on Elm Street series review. Ew, the ranking. So, like I said at the beginning, if if you don't agree with me on this list, let me know in the comments below what your favorite Nightmare on Elm Street was. And uh, please, no bad comments, and please don't call me stupid for my opinions. So. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Peace.